Um, the Mango 2-2 was a bit discolored this morning. I come down here this morning and it's 35-40k bike ride to, to get here. And I've just come down here to this pool, right where this tree is coming down. I cast along the, the top side of that tree, just along, and it slowly went under. And first fish, within maybe 5 or 10 minutes, first fish of the day, lovely rainbow jack. Awesome fish, more along the lines of 3 pound. Put up a good fight. 4 pounds. Oh yeah, that's a girthy one. Actually, I, I want to get a still photo with him. He's actually one of my larger rainbows, I think. Such a monster, such a beautiful, beautiful fish. to the second fish and it's another good sized rainbow probably four pound putting up a pretty good fight um, took the nymph once again it's been pretty quiet today but um, it's it's all right because all the fish I have hooked out of the both of the two fish I've hooked um, have both been good sized fish I mean it's quality over quantity today it's quite a decent sized rainbow. I have a real long leader on those so it's pretty tricky to get it in. Enough to get them close enough to land. Oh, it's another big male. Oh, I don't know where. This is a, just like the other one, big male. Got him. Oh. On the nymph I tied myself as well, of course. It's a big fat, big fat fish. Both of the fish I've caught have been fat ones. Fat males, rainbows. So this one's got a bit of damage there on his mouth, like he's been caught before. So I'm guessing he probably has to. It's quite a well-known stream that I'm fishing. Here's just the bead head sticking out of his scissors. There he is, just in the mouth and the tongue there. Literally on the tip of his tongue, he was hooked. It's such a lucky one. Could have lost him pretty easily, actually. Um, yeah, he's four, four pounds. Sweet. It's exactly the same as the last fish. The last fish was way further up, but this is literally exactly the same. It's male rainbow four pound. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Fish. Just a little rise just there. Oh man, I tell you what, I'm 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 knackered as hell. After that massive bike ride here, and then all this walking, getting chased around by bulls and horses and all this crap on the way down the <laughs> goats. Oh man, this 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 is a different uh, experience that I to what I usually have. That's for sure. Sweet. Hopefully I'll get a big brownie soon. Love to see a brownie. Catch you up in a sec. So I've just come through here, through this paddock coming around from all these blackberry bushes and stuff. And I saw a, um, I didn't, I don't think I spooked it, I just saw a big V wake on top of the water, a big sort of V going up the river. Oh, and there's a rise just there, just now. So um, the V went up there and then I couldn't see it anymore. And then I saw a few rises along the side of that bank. So I'm going to head up there with this little dry fly I put on and the nymph underneath it. And I'll see what happens. Oh, well, I don't know if you see that, but there's a massive thing there. That's where the fish is for sure. Man, I, I got to get a fly in front of that. Bloody hell. That was alright.
Man, that was a big, a big bit of movement in the water there. I'll come up behind it so I can get a better cast on it. Cause, man, that I'm pretty sure that was quite a large fish. By the looks of that rise there, I just saw. Yep, got him. Come on, in the net. Look at that nymph right there in the scissors. I tied that last night and I'm stoked because I've been constantly catching on it. Cheers for the net, Shal Guthrie. This has been really awesome, really helpful today. Let's, let's get you in. Oh, he's a pretty hefty one. And he's five pounds bang on. Man, he's got so much energy, I'll probably drop him actually. Oh yes, he's hefty. He is actually a really solid one. He wants to go quite badly. He's just lying in the grass, which is fine. I just wanted to get him. Guys, um, I spotted a quite a big trout over there. He was moving around and in the current and stuff. I just, um, I reckon I'll get him because he, I tried to put the, the flies down right in front of me so that I could get the GoPro out, but he literally came right across the pool to have a look at it, and then he turned around and went back to where he was. So hopefully I'll get him if I actually cast it. just need to get a good spot to cast from because it's nearly impossible from where I am to get a good drift. Yep, got him. Yep, it's a good fish. Not as big as I thought, but pretty good. I had to try to keep him away because that's a massive tree there and it's a really big snag. Oh, it's a big rainbow, yeah. I thought it was a big brown trout, but it's a rainbow. It's awesome. <coughs> I only just got here too. A couple minutes ago, he took the nymph straight away. I got her about 10 minutes ago, and this is the first pool I've really fished properly. Yeah, let's see him. He's a good fish. He's at least two pound, probably three pound. Yeah, three pound, I'd say. Awesome. That was worth the 25 kilometer bike ride, I tell you that. Oh, he's going around. I don't think he's ready. Oh, he took the dry fly far out. He took the dry fly. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. I didn't get to see him take it. I just saw it just, I saw that it had disappeared. So I thought he must have taken the nymph. Epic. I don't want to keep it out of the water very long. Long. I'll just weigh it and then I'll release it and stuff. Oh. So that says four. And the net weighs 750 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, I don't know, three pound or something. Around three pound. Possibly a bit less. Yeah, yesterday the guy I fished with was Garth Stevenson. Garth, thank you for this, uh, those three dry flies you gave me. Because there's one right there in his mouth. Epic cicada sort of pattern. Beauty. Okay, let's get him back. Take two. There's a fish hard on the bank right in front of me, and I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best to get a cast at it without spooking it or getting those trees. It's right there. Not sure. That's good. Good cast. Oh, there he is. He's right in there. He took it. It's a big brownie. Go. I 
I think I got that all on camera though. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? I think I struck a bit early or something. Or didn't put enough pressure on him because he came off. <laughs> Got him. Oh, it's a good one. Screaming up the river. It's a rainbow. Oh, yeah. It's a good male. Holy, look at him. He's hooked through the nose. The top of his nose. Man, that's the weirdest hookup. Three pound. Clear water, I reckon. 